so much is false. Yeah. How has or how do you think black history has impacted you um, dwelling in such a diverse um, church setting and diverse church community? Well, I have to tell you that I, I love all nationalities. I have to tell you as a child, I never knew a black person mm. till I was eight years old. And we met the maid of Elliot Roosevelt in Nantucket Island, and she spent every Sabbath with us because she was a Seventh-day Adventist. Mm. And there I learned to love the black people and Amen. what they stand for. And they love the same Lord I love, and that's the important thing. And I wish I could tell you that lady's name. <laughs> I wish I could tell you her name. The only thing I remember is my dad, she would not sit at the table with us for lunch because she'd never sat at the table with white people. And my dad said, none of us are sitting down to eat here at this table because we're all the same color in God's sight. That's right. And that was an important lesson for me to learn as a child. That's right. And I still remember him saying, um, I have no problems with the color of anybody's skin. I don't have the, any problems with the language anyone uses, but I do have a problem with behavior because some behavior I feel is not acceptable in God's sight. That's right. And I have always chosen to try and follow and be Christ-like to everyone I meet. Black history is very important because someone once said that um, we have nothing to fear except the fear of forgetting how God has led us in the past. And so black history um, is something that tells us about ourselves, not just about black people, but about our cultures, different cultures. And that's what I like about history. Michelle, I started reading about African American history when I was about 10 years old. And I learned the contributions of African Americans and a lot of other people that God used um, to change history, create history, and forge a way for me and other African Americans to have opportunity in this country. Yesterday, my wife and I, or the day before, my wife and I were watching a movie by Ben Carson. And as I watched that movie, my mind flashed back to a billboard I seen in Detroit, a scholarship fund for young people through Ben Carson. I watched this young man and what he went through all the negative things that were thrown at him and his mother and how strong she was and how they lifted the Lord up. And this man gave. In the losing of his son, he still gave. There was no color white. There was no color black. And he gave everything he had. And it just touched me to see there is no color barrier in God's eyes. Black history is God's history. Black history has impacted me in many ways. It has given me hope that through the pioneers who have set the tone for African Americans and blacks alike, we can then follow the same trajectory as them. Um, Martin Luther, Frederick Douglass, uh, Jesse Owens, um, Rosa Parks, all these founders who kind of set the standard for blacks. And I've learned that we can carry the torch and actually do better things and greater things than what they have done. Um, and so I'm really inspired, uh, you know, to know that people have already fought for my freedoms and I can enjoy them uh, in America. Black history is wonderful because there have been great people. We just thank Jesus for all those people.